pleading for a pardon. Kwame Kilpatrick now calling on the president to use his power to get him out of prison. The disgraced former mayor of Detroit says he's, quote, ready to go home. Kilpatrick is serving 28 years in prison after being convicted of corruption in 2013. He isn't scheduled to be released until August 20 of 2037. Just last week, Kilpatrick was transferred to a low security lockup in Fort Dix, New Jersey. Tonight, our Simon Shaykhead is taking a closer look at his plea and how Detroiters feel about it. I was born in this city and came here in 2006 when former Mayor Kilpatrick was in the height of his career. I uh, came here as a young reporter wanting to learn about this city and wanting to learn about him. And what followed, many could not have predicted. So here we are where great men once came, asking the people, should Kilpatrick be released from prison? I want to tell you, Detroit, that you done set me up for a comeback. He was charismatic, a kind of giant, standing up for the little guy. But his powers of persuasion couldn't keep him out of prison. He was running a criminal organization out of the mayor's office. Who caught him? The police? The FBI. Him? The FBI caught him. For some, the details seem a bit hazy, but not for Kwame. After five years of a 28 year sentence for public corruption, he hopes to tap into President Trump's recent affinity for highly publicized pardons. You're admitting, hey, I. I broke the law, but I think the sentence is too harsh. Andy Arena spent his FBI career as the top agent taking down corrupt public officials. I hope that the rule of law uh, holds day here. Obviously, the way things are going in this country, uh, we've seen a lot of firsts. I just spent 17 days in jail. I know how that feels. Around the corner from the hard hats, Robert Lumpkin is advocating a version of tough love. When you come back out here, are you going to do anything different? He need a little bit more time to sit down. Is Trump the president that will do it? Uh, Black bodies of color are overrepresented in the criminal justice system. Taylor Nelson is both a cynic and a pragmatist, bringing up the recent pardon request of Illinois Governor Rod Blagojevich, himself a guest on Celebrity Apprentice. She says Trump has to look to the facts, not just use celebrities like Kim Kardashian as his moral compass. Taylor's here for the summer, working on a master's in public affairs, not the kind Kilpatrick had plenty of. Think of the sheriff in um, in Arizona, mm -hmm. right? And when you think about he was actively discriminating against a group of people, yet he was pardoned. Is Kwame Kilpatrick still the same person, or is he a changed man? Ultimately, that'll be up to President Trump to decide. Simon Shaykhet, 7 Action News.